Step two, invoicing. There are two options in order to proceed, quick ticket or new invoice. The quick ticket option is to fast track a customer who is pressed for time. One can simply type in how many drop pieces there are, or if time permits, select the drop down menu and indicate the number of items per category. When you click on the quick ticket button, two tickets are printed, one for the customer and one for you to add to the bag of items. When time permits, you can fill in the details of this specific drop-off by typing in the invoice number and filling in the details. If, however, you had time when the client came in to do an invoice, you would just click New Invoice. For example, if the client's name was Sharon Miller, you would sign in using the employee PIN. That would take you to this screen where, since you know the customer's name, you can type it in directly here. Once the client's name is recognized, you are taken to this screen where you would click on New Invoice. Look carefully at this next screen as I explain the layout and important functions at your disposal. The first column with the blue background is dry cleaning for men. The second column with the lilac background is dry cleaning for women. The third column is for laundry and household items. The third column also functions as a dynamic field when choosing items from the first two columns and when choosing the colors from columns four and five. When you click on any of the items from column one or two, the third column displays classifications for these items. For example, if we select men's suit, the third column displays various types of men's suit, two-piece, three-piece, two-piece tuxedo, etc. When selecting the color from column four or five, column three shows the various shades of the color selected. These modifiers can be programmed to automatically add extra upcharges so that by clicking on the modifier, automatically adds the upcharge to the customer's invoice. For the purpose of this video, let's go ahead and create an order for Mrs. Miller. In the first column, click on men's suit. In the third column, which is the dynamic field, select three-piece tuxedo. Select the color and then shade of color in the third column and then material if you desire. She has also brought in two dresses. One has black stripes and the other has red flowers. Because they're both dresses, you can click on the number two on this top row and then in the second column select dress. Then choose black and stripe and red and flower. She has also brought in four silk ties. Click on the number four on the top. Then click ties in the first column and choose silk from the last column and select all the relevant colors if you wish. She has also brought in a blouse with a red wine stain. Click on blouse from the second column, choose the type and blouse and color, and then select spot damage from this menu, and then select wine. Once you have selected the type of stain, click on close and it will be added to the description within the blouse field. If you're not happy with the description, you can always click on the field and edit it manually like this. As explained earlier, you can configure the system to automatically add the upcharges when selecting them. And in this case, we want to charge a little extra as it is a large stain. So we click on the description and hit enter. Here you can edit the standard price. In the unlikely event that the client returns with an item they're not happy with and you agree to redo it for free, you would follow these simple steps. Select the item, in this case a blue blouse with dots, and then select redo no charge, and select the appropriate reason from the pop-up menu and click OK. You can see that the blouse has been added to the invoice but without any charges associated to it. She also brought in a red cashmere sweater that she wanted hand washed. Click on sweater, regular sweater, Click on red and the shade of red if you wish, and then click on cashmere. Since you charge extra for hand washing, click on upcharge and select hand wash. If the price for the upcharge has not yet been configured, you can add it manually by clicking on it here and typing the amount. 
The last item is a five by eight foot rug. Click on more items and the additional items are shown in column two. Select rug and select whether or not the rug will be sent out for cleaning or if you can do it in house. Select on the standard charge to edit the price depending on the size of the rug. The more items button includes many more features for the services you may offer, like repairing shoes. To complete this order, simply click on this print button and the invoice will be printed for your customer and tax will be printed for you to attach to the garments. Note that all the buttons on this menu are dynamic and you have complete control of every aspect of this menu. This brings us to step three and four, racking and pick and pay.